Hello, everybody. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on uh, my IT lab. Uh, so um, what you do to show your grades. So um, a quick look at my IT lab here. Uh, one of the things that I kind of revert to when I'm working with this is uh, I will have a uh, I'll always revert to the course calendar. And so right here in assignments, you have the course calendar and you have things you need to do and then you have things that are completed. So um, for the sake of showing you guys what's going on, uh, I am going to uh, look at some completed assignments so I can actually show you how to look at your grades and look at um, uh, any mistakes you made so you can correct them. Okay, so uh, we're going to take this, take a look at this quick, at this one in chapter four, just for the sake of it. Uh, so let's go view grades, and from view grades, uh, it's looking at everything from chapter four activities here. So I've got one there with a grade. Uh, this is uh, just a unidentified student that I have here. Uh, that I was able to mask his name so we can look at what they might have missed, but they did clear the 85 uh, percentage thresho threshold. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at problem solving two, because that's the one where the grade is right here. You see the 86.5. So here we can go view submissions, whoops, view submissions. And when we view submissions, I'm just going to maximize this screen just for showing everybody. Uh, we click on the actual submission here in the submission list. Uh, so right here, there's only one submission, but there could be multiple. Uh, but we want to take a look at this one right here in the submission list. And when we look at it in the submission list, we see a list of things that we got right and things that we got wrong. So um, here I got you know all eight points, eight out of eight. I earned eight points as possible. Uh, but up here, for example, I only earned 12 out of 15. So how do I get back those three points in a subsequent submission? Let's take a look. And the way we do that is to uh, hit these red arrows here. And when we click on the red arrows, it shows us what the grader detected, what the auto grader detected, and with enough detail that we can usually make the correction uh, in uh, on the spreadsheet itself. Now, here's another thing. If you potentially might have your spreadsheets messed up because you have multiple attempts, one of the things that's really nice is you can download the actual file that you submitted here and you can make uh, to make the appropriate changes. So, um, and that goes straight to a download link if I was to click on. I'm not going to go any further than this, but uh, you can see that it downloads the Excel spreadsheet. Um, right from the site, so you can have the actual file you submitted in case you have multiple things that might confuse you. And so then again, you know, we have here, oh, this uh, person only got two and a half points out of 10, so that's definitely something you want to improve upon. And you can see a number of different errors here. Now, I will say, some of these errors are either very minor, and sometimes they take off a lot of points, or they're actually not errors at all. And I just want to say that's why we have the 85% uh, objective, because um, if, you, if you've gotten that far, if you've gotten to 85%, then the likelihood of you at least being able to get most of the things right and understanding most of the instructions and uh, you know, accounting for some of the, uh, uh, the, the nuances with these auto graders here on, on the Pearson site, um, you know, this will definitely, uh, I think that kind of gets us, you know, most of the way there as a class or and as and you as a student uh, in learning the things that I want you to learn. Okay, so uh, that was all I wanted to show you here, um, just how to go and look up uh, your mistakes that you made, because you have multiple attempts to do the assignments. So I want to make sure you know how to actually go about fixing them. All right, I am going to uh, stop sharing and potentially log off here. Let's see.